Oh, howdy, folks. Let's just get this over with. I'm going to review Dean Koontz, The Servants of Twilight. Finished it Sunday, and man. I think by page. When I was in the 380s, I was like, I don't care anymore. This is written in nineteen ninety. So there's a mom. Oh, I can't remember her. Christine Scavello and her son Joey. They're at at a mall one day, and when they're leaving, this old lady just comes out of nowhere and. Starts accusing the boy of being the Antichrist. Uh, I think that night, she goes to his house and like decapitates his dog. So the mom hires a private detective agency to find out what's going on. And then uh, they assign some like guards, bodyguards to her house. House gets attacked. They kill both guards and some of the attackers. And then the head of the detective agency, Charlie, he takes it upon himself to like protect the mom and her kid. And from there, it's just like a, it's just like a, the chase, just like the movie. The book definitely has more action that I wish had been in the movie. But man, Dean R. Koontz, this is like halfway through. I was like, okay, this is, it's not horror at all. It's not even action, really. I don't know what the hell you would call it, but there is a lot more action than in the movie. And you really get the sense of them being hounded, like they have nowhere to go, because there's a point where, uh, like, they're in a safe house, and the, the cult's called the Servants of Twilight. And they drive a, a van full of explosives at the house and blow it up, and... I was like, man, they're really hounding them. And then, I don't know what it is. I wouldn't read it again, and I wouldn't recommend it. I thought I thought this one would be better than a lot of the other Dean Arcoons I've read. Like, okay, I remember I liked the, the Bad Place. I think Cold Fire was good. Um... I remember Midnight was really good. Watchers was really good. I remember it being. I, I read Mr. Murder. Don't really remember it. I think I read Phantoms. I don't know. I can't remember. I remember some, like some of his books are really good. He wrote a book called Icebound early in his career. I remember that was really good. That's, that's the book where I was like, okay, after this, if this one sucks, no more Koontz. And then I read that one, and I was like, wow, this is really good. Like, I'll give him another chance, and then... Oh, man. So, I'm just gonna put together... I think this is full clutter I have here. Uh, it just drags... Like, it just drags on and on. Like, I was like... There's a the part where he gets to... Uh... <laughs> okay, they get to another safe house. Oh, they go like deep in the in like the woods of Utah, and to a safe house. And the leader of the servants of Twilight, Mother. Oh God, I can't remember her name. What's her name. The leader of the cult. She has like vision so she can track them where they are. And in the movie, I just spoil it. In the movie, he is the Antichrist. And this one, like in, in the movie, it ends where he he kills the the detective protecting him because he knows what he, he thinks he knows what he is. In this, his mom Christine and Charlie, the private detective, they think could he be the Antichrist? But it doesn't end like it just ends. To where I'm almost leaning to where he's not the Antichrist. 
So the ending of the movie was a lot better, or it was better, not a lot better. The movie wasn't that good either. And then, yeah, the ending is just so drawn out. Like, the ending is like the last, dude, over 100 pages where they're, and then maybe like the last 75, they're just going through the woods, and I was like, just stop it, just end it, like, kill them, I don't care. You know, there's other books where I'm reading, and I'm like, okay, let's get to that. And, or, you know, I don't want it to end. There's books, like, uh, Island of the Blue Dolphin was like that. It was only like 150, not even 150 pages, and I would read it. I would just read a couple of pages every day because I didn't want it to end. And then there's some books where, like, I can't wait to get to the ending. This one, I just, yeah. Look at him. Uh, and I still have more of his books, and I'm gonna... Just because this was like in the mid, in the peak of his, where his books were pretty good. And it was okay, but it just, like, I'm almost convinced he had no editor. Let's see, does it even... I don't think, like, and again, I think, I mean, I don't know, but I think Koontz has just copied Stephen King. Like, oh, 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 Stephen King draws his stuff out, I'm gonna do it too. Dang, Koontz. So, I would give it three, because it is well written, like three out of five. Uh, it was engaging sometimes, it was a really good story, really good idea, some good action. Oh, yeah, man. He'll go into the most minute detail of stuff, and then... It's just some stuff that just, I don't know, it just irked me. Like, everything is perfect in a Dean Arcone's book. Like, Charlie and Christine have sex, and it's like the most explosive, greatest sex they've ever had. But it's also like the most, uh, the greatest lovemaking they've ever had. But also, the most animalistic, wild sex they've ever had. And it goes on for like two, they, they do it for like two hours. It just, I was like, well, I mean, I don't know about for you, but sex is pretty horrible for me. Every The last time I did it, it was, I'm, and I'm sure the girl didn't enjoy it any more than I did. It's not, I don't I mean, it's not like that for me. I don't know if it's like that for anyone. So that was like annoying. That was annoying. It annoyed me. I was like, it's just, everything's perfect. So, Dean Arcoon's. <sighs> Servants of Twilight, just... I'm gonna find a good one in the ones I have left. After that, I'm just gonna get rid of these Coons books and you'll never hear about them again. Okay, I'll see ya.